Alright, hey guys, uh, welcome to tutorial 2. Uh, in tutorial 1 I taught you the basic stuff in spawning objects, moving them around, freezing them and stuff. And NPCs and what or vehicles and stuff. I forgot to show you guys weapons by the way. You can click any weapon and it'll pop, pop it up and stuff. You can give NPCs weapons, but you know that's not that big of a deal. So, um... Right now, I'm going to show you a little more basic stuff, like maybe uh, the first thing I can do is I'll show you some more tool gun stuff, and I'll start with Axis, actually. Uh, what Axis is, is basically what it sounds like and what in real life it would normally do. Uh, you can make something spin on a certain axis, and since I made it like that, and I put it on the very bottom, you can make it spin on that one axis. So kind of like that, you can make doors and stuff. And, uh, you know, you can do it either way from, you know, uh, swinging down and stuff. Uh, here, let me see if I can do it. I don't know if I can, but, uh, leave it like this. And then, you know, you put it in the air like that. Oops. Like that, and you unlock it, actually. Sorry, give me a second. Uh, put it in the air. Whatever that'll do. So I'll put an axis like this. And maybe put it like that. Unlock it. Obviously, it's not gonna work. Um, you can basically do anything as long as it's connected to something. Uh, like my door over there is on an axis inside here. If you watch tutorial one, I showed you it. Uh, this door right here is on an axis. Um, there's a button to open it, but I, uh, you know, I won't need to go into that because sometimes it bugs out and whatnot. Um, oh, uh, that's Axis. Uh, once we, once you get into more tutorials and stuff, I'll show you better, more cooler stuff with that. Um, I'll skip right into, we don't need to do hydraulics right now. That's numpad stuff, you don't need to get into that. Nails, not that important tool, you don't use that that much, you know. You shoot down a nail and it connects it to something. A uh, slider, a rope. Here we go. This one you use a lot to make, you know, different kinds of stuff. Um, I'll show you how to make catapults and stuff later on, because you can make that if that sounds cool at all. This is what you normally would use to make a catapult. And what a rope would do is here. Let me let me lift this up. Uh, wait a minute. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Anyways, a rope would connect it, you know, normally what it would do, just connect it to the ground like that, and it, once you let it go and stuff, you can only access that one point of that rope, of the highest point, you know, and, uh, actually, I'll make a little one, I'll make it easier, but not, okay, and then what you can do is you can make stuff, well, lots of stuff with this, actually. You make a little catapult, whatever, whatever, you know, just screwing around. Um, another tool is, these are just kind of screw around tools. Actually, most of them aren't actually screw around tools, but this one is. You know, you spawn balloons and stuff, and what you can do is you can put it in someone's hand or something, make it look funny, like maybe on an NPC or a prop. Uh, duplicator. Uh, I won't get into buttons. Buttons are another numpad stuff. I'll get into numpads maybe in the fourth tutorial or the third one. Duplicator. Uh, when you spawn an object, you can duplicate it by right clicking it and clicking somewhere else. It'll just duplicate it over and over again. You can do it as many times as you want. You can, you if you want to, you can just stack them up on top of each other. There's an easier tool for that though. I'll show you that in a second. That's normally what you would do. Um, the next tool, dynamite, don't need to get into that, numpad stuff, hoverball, and litter, uh, numpad stuff, ignite, just kind of a screw around tool, you know, click on it, puts on fire, right click it, goes off fire, uh, keep upright, keep upright makes it so things don't tip over and stuff, you can keep upright your car, and it won't tip over, uh, keypad is actually an add-on, you guys probably won't have it, I don't know, you might. 
A uh, lamp is kind of useless. Well, it's not really, but you can use it for lights and stuff if you're trying to make a dark area. I guess if you're into that kind of thing. Whatever. Lights, the same thing. It's just a light instead of a lamp. Um, magnetize basically is what it sounds like. You just can click an object to make it magnetize so that, you know, it'll pick up a bunch of magnets or pick up a bunch of metal. No collide. This is a very very important tool. You use this a lot. Um, you use this to make cars, you use it to make slide doors, you make it use it for anything. Basically you click two objects and you can collide them together, you know, make them go through each other so it doesn't um, you know, get so they don't hit each other and whatnot. Um, next tool, physical properties, you don't need to know about that. Prop spawner, not really important. Remover, remover is basically what it sounds like again. Uh, let me get a better one. And you just click on it and it disappears. Left click. Uh, stacker. This is the the one I was talking about. The easy tool. All you do is click on it and it stacks it up like that. Now, <laughs> they're not all connected, so if you hit it, they will. That one will fall unless you freeze it. So that's all. That's very useful tool. You'll you. I'll put that in my comments so you can download it. Uh, thruster, you don't need to know about numpad stuff. Turret numpad, wheel numpad stuff. Uh, eye posers. Posers, very fun part of the game. This is what you see in the videos where they screw around and stuff with their face. And uh, I'll spawn. I'll spawn a G-Man. Because he's awesome. He's like the coolest guy in Half-Life 2. Not gonna lie. Uh, this is what you do. Uh, let me click. Okay, eye poser poses their eyes. You know, anywhere you want them to. I'm gonna make him go towards the middle. Make him look like a retard. Actually, whatever that works too. Uh, face poser. Face poser is really funny. For some reason, it's not showing me the. There it is. Uh, you can pose their face and stuff. <laughs> Looks kind of dumb. But yeah, finger poser is basically the same thing. You just pick up the hand. You can change the hand positions and stuff, make them flip you off or whatever, whatever you're into. Inflator. Inflator is another screw around one. You can point at his face, make it bigger. It's kind of retarded. It, but you know, you can make it really big. That's as big as it'll go, but that's pretty dumb. <sighs> statue. Statue basically is what it sounds like. It just freezes it, you know, makes it a statue like that. And cameras in all the renders I'll get into later in the next tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching tutorial 2, and I hope I see you in tutorial 3.